Hello and thank you for joining us for this week's track guide for Daily Race B in association with Kirith Esports. I'm JB Racing and I'm going to take you around this guide for Kyoto Driving Park and we are at the Yamagiwa forward layout which is probably my favourite layout of all the Kyoto Driving Park tracks. They have fixed the curb glitch so there's no more curb riding and ridiculous uh, sort of launches people are getting out of that which is nice. And for something a little bit different we've gone in the Nissan GTR so if you're like me and you're completely bored of driving the Subaru jump in the GTR it's great fun. Uh, you can also get in the Nissan Silvia as well, I've seen some good laps uh, getting putting in that car. And we're going to break down um, in a little bit more detail here the kerbs. So the one thing you are going to be struggling with if you're trying to set some times around here is hitting the kerbs at the right angles and not getting sent off into the shadow realm, which is easily done. So here's a couple of screenshots going to look at just quickly to give you some help with what kind of angle to aim for and what I'm looking at when I'm coming into these kerbs. Let's have a quick look at that before we start the guide. So what we're looking at here is the first of the tricky curbs you come to, which I believe is turn six. And what this is all about is how you hit the first part of the chicane. So this curbing here that we're looking at the Subaru going over in front of us, you want to aim to either hit it just like he is here, or maximum have your left tires just on the inside of the curbing. So make sure that you don't have too much of your car over the inside. It will look on the replay sometimes like people are cutting it by more, but I promise you you want to have your left tires just inside there or the car is going to get bounced everywhere. So look out for that. And next here we have the penultimate corner. So this is again a really important one to not get bounced out wide on. You want to make sure that you get as wide as possible on your entry. So as far to the right on the previous curb as you can. And you see the angle this Subaru is at in front. He's going too straight on and going towards the wall. You want to be aiming a little bit more left. So you're pointing your car towards the middle of the track. Uh, so that you're again getting your left tyres just on the inside of that curbing. And that's going to give you a perfect launch to get on the power nice and early and maximise your time around there. So I hope that helps you with how to visualise those corners and what you're aiming for to have a bit more consistency. Without further ado, let's get into the track guide and break it down. I'll just get a 141.552, or 522 it may have been. Um, so yeah, really pleased with that lap and let's get into it and see how it goes. So one top tip I've got here for the start is that you want to come out a little bit wider there and then use third gear to launch to get the best possible acceleration down the straight. So as opposed to sort of turning in early like you would maybe expect to, Stay out wide to the left, short shift to third gear, and then get on the power nice and early. Just after the 50 board here, we're using about 50-60% brake, downshifting into fourth gear, and you want to keep your left tyres as close to this white line next to the sort of blue turbing there as you can. Get on the power about halfway around there. This car rotates beautifully on the acceleration, so you can be nice and confident with getting on the accelerator in the GTR. Now as you come up the hill here on the kerbs, you want to take a little bit of kerb on each one, but be careful not to dip your tyre on the inside of it, because it will flip the car about and you'll lose time. As you see, I'm just clipping the edges of the kerbs there and not actually riding them. Next, we're looking out for the marshals box on the right-hand side. So just before the marshals box are turning in, again, about 50% brake, down into fourth gear, and the car will slide a little bit when you're coming in at full speed, but it's not a problem. Again, just get on the power nice and confidently. You clip the curbing here at the end, and that gives you a really good exit down onto uh, this downhill section that we're coming to. Next is the first of the corners that we broke down with the pictures at the beginning. So we are going to go through this in a little bit of detail here. So come out nice and wide onto the curbing, right on the 100 metre line there. We are braking down into fourth gear, and then that left tyre is just going over the inside of the curb. As I said, the right one you can hit a little bit more aggressively, and the left one, again, you're, you're riding with your left tyres, but you don't really want to get over onto the grass. So brake on the 100 metre board here. We're trail braking down, keeping it in fourth gear, aiming to get the left tyres just over the inside of this curbing here on the power as you hit that curb and then that will give you a nice straight line to uh, cut this right curb. With any of these curbs at any point if you do dip your outside tyres over the inside that is going to be too far and you're going to get a penalty so watch out for that it's only the inside tyres that you can cut the curb in with. Now coming up the hill uh, we are coming to a slightly tricky hairpin here now where the break-in point is just after the barrier goes out of your sight on the right hand side so where that red and white barrier starts we break in just after the start of that down into second gear and you need to be really confident on the accelerator here so you see about halfway around I'm getting on the power nice and early and you've got all this curb in here you can use as runoff so loads of room to accelerate out there now next is the second of the curbs we showed the pictures of at the beginning so we're turning in just before that Marshall's box on the left hand side bit of a lift to make sure the car stays over on the right Brake once the car's in a straight line and then we're just clipping the edge of that curbing 
with our left tyres so we don't have to run off like that uh, fast time did there in front so a bit of a lift to stay over to the right on the brakes once the car is straight aim to take just uh, enough curbing to get your tyres on the inside and then that will give you a nice smooth exit obviously that time in front was faster but it's not going to be as consistent if you're out there on the grass braking just after the 50 metre board here and you see what I mean when I'm staying straight a little bit of second gear just turn the car in and then short shift to third and you make yourself a longer straight effectively by doing that so stay out wide second gear just turn the car around then short shift to third and get on the power as I say that was good enough for a 141.5 so I hope that's helped you out I was quite pleased with that time please do drop a like uh, comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video and come over to JBay Racing to check out more of the league racing and track guides that we do I'll leave you with the lap guide now to play out at full speed thanks very much for tuning in and good luck with your qualifying